Converting the traditional data center to a virtual data center involves converting physical machines into virtual machines. VMware offers a few tools, we call these P2V tools or physical to virtual tools for converting to a virtual environment. VMware vCenter Converter Standalone is designed to convert physical machines to virtual machines. Now these virtual machines can be used through VMware vCenter as VMs in VMware ESX, VMware ESXi, or VMware Server. It can also be used to convert VMs that will be used on a desktop through VMware Workstation or VMware Player or VMware Fusion. And not only can VMware vCenter Converter Standalone convert a physical machine to a virtual machine, it can also convert other virtual machines to virtual machines for use with the VMware product line. So if you had a VirtualBox virtual machine and you wanted to convert it, you could do that. Or if you had a third-party system image and you wanted to convert it, you could do it that way. Let's take a look at VMware vCenter Converter Standalone. I'm in VMware vCenter Converter Standalone, and this is the software for converting physical machines into virtual machines. So let's say I wanted to convert a machine. I'll just click Convert Machine. So the first thing I need to do is define the source system that I want to convert to a virtual machine. Notice that the source system could be powered on or powered off. If the system is powered on, we call this a hot conversion. And if it's powered off, it's a cold conversion. Now it's recommended when you're converting physical to virtual to start from a powered off computer. You'll probably have better results. But if you have a computer or a server that is connected to users all the time and you can't power it down or can't afford to power it down to do the conversion process, then you can actually convert a powered on computer to a virtual machine. Not only that, you can see that right now, powered on, I could convert this local machine, meaning the computer I'm using right now, to a virtual machine. Or I could choose a remote Windows machine on the network or a remote Linux machine. And if I want to use a powered off computer to convert, let's say for a cold conversion, I could access my VMware infrastructure. In other words, I could contact a vCenter server by putting in the server address, username, and password, and then convert from there. I can also choose a VMware workstation virtual machine that I want to convert, or a Hyper-V server to connect to to convert. Now let's say I want to convert a powered on, I want to convert this local machine. I'll click Next. And the next thing I need to do is choose the destination type of virtual machine that I want to convert to. If I want to create a VMware infrastructure virtual machine, then the next thing I need to do is connect to a vCenter server so I can create a destination type VMware infrastructure virtual machine. Now to do this, I'll need to connect to a vCenter server with an IP address, username, and password. Or I could convert it to a VMware workstation or other VMware virtual machine. There are some possibilities here. VMware Workstation 11 or 12, VMware Workstation 10, VMware Fusion, I could convert it to VMware Fusion for Apple OS, or a VMware Player virtual machine as well. So I'm given some options here. I'll give the name of the virtual machine and a location for where the virtual machine would go if I'm converting my physical machine to a virtual machine where on the hard drive I'll want this virtual machine to exist. Typically, at this point, I would be choosing VMware infrastructure and converting the local computer or the physical computer to a virtual machine for use in a VMware ESXi infrastructure through vCenter.